Hello, welcome back to another video tutorial here at Geek at Play Studios. My name is Gary Miller. I've got a great modeling project that's going to encompass several uh, modeling sessions, and that is how to model a skyscraper. And since this is a video, essentially a movie, all good movies show credits and acknowledgments to the people who uh, deserve it. And right up front, I want to acknowledge that the inspiration behind this came from a set of video tutorials by Wolfgang, uh, a fellow who lives in Germany, and he also goes by the names of Contrafibularity and Brain Stew. Now, he created a whole set, uh, I believe 41 modeling tutorials to be used in Cinema 4D, and he is a very good teacher and a very good modeler and his models uh, his tutorials are very easy to follow and they are available for viewing and for downloading at posernation.com I've also seen them on YouTube I've seen links to his tutorials at CG Society and C4D Cafe they are very popular and he he produces some really good modeling tutorials for Cinema 4D. If you don't have Cinema 4D, I um, wanted to create these tutorials using his work as my inspiration to show how to create something like what he has done in his tutorials but instead of using Cinema 4D I want to do it in Hexagon uh, one because most of the people here at Geek at Play or a lot of the people here at Geek at Play use Hexagon and it's my personal modeling program of choice because it's fast and it is extremely easy to use once you get used to the interface so the tutorials that um, we're going to work through is going to is going to be based on how to create skyscrapers now I want to make a building like this I'm not going to duplicate his work but there are several elements here in this image that came from his modeling tutorials and I'm going to show you a picture of a or the model that I have created here in hexagon that we will be uh, duplicating got the uh, entrance with uh, door handles little doorstep lots of windows and uh, window frames and dividers I forget what these are called but little scalloped uh, roof supports here. I'm not a uh, building designer or an architect so I have no idea what these little um, details along the roof would be but I created some air conditioning units and some pipes and stuff to go on top. The benefit of these tutorials for modeling this skyscraper is not necessarily to model the skyscraper that I have but to use to 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 get an understanding of the tools that hexagon does have so that whatever building you want to create you're going to be able to use many if not all of the same modeling principles and techniques that I'm going to demonstrate here in these hex in this hexagon tutorial now as I said earlier I'm not a building designer or creator so you might look at this model and think well that's pretty cheesy I can do better and that's great I would encourage that but no matter what design that you come up with for your inspiration either it's, whether it's from your head or from a photo you're gonna have to assemble it and create it and model it in virtually the same manner in which we're going to work through these tutorials to create this building. So the purpose of this is just to show how to create one, uh, not necessarily how to create this one. So that's it for this introductory tutorial. Thanks for watching here at Geek at Play Studios. My name is Gary Miller. Have a good day.